Hey guys, welcome to this new series I'm making, Comment Q&A, where I take your questions from the comments and I answer them in this video. So let's jump in. All right, and today's comment was in Blender Quick Tips Stroke Order and it's from J Haru Art. They say, if only I can find out how to, how to draw behind imported planes though, I really want to be able to import images drawn in Photoshop, like just a face, for example, and animate hair behind it. But I haven't found out how to get it to work. Only options I have found is changing the opacity from alpha blend to opaque. But again, the PNG was imported in as a plane. So turning it opaque makes all the empty space a solid black instead of making the image part solid instead of transparent. That's a very good question. And for the grease pencil or using grease pencil, it does uh, tend to like not work with imported planes, but there is a solution called uh, holdout materials. And that's what we're going to use now. And I'll show you how you can uh, use them. So let's go to Blender. All right, and here we are in Blender. So first thing we wanna do is we wanna import an image as a plane, like they were saying in their comment. They want to be able to import an image from Photoshop with some transparency. It's usually a PNG into Blender. So to do that, we have to make sure that our add-on, a certain add-on is turned on. And that add-on is import images as planes. Just go to add-ons, type in IMA up here, and then import images as planes. There we go. Now we'll have this option here under add images, images as planes. So I'm going to select the image I made. And for the for these purposes, I just use an image with some transparency on it. But you can do any image you want that has transparency. When you select your image on the right side, there are three options that you can choose from. Principle, shadeless, and emit. Uh, principle just means it will be affected by the lights in the scene. Shadeless means it's not affected at all. And emit, it emits light onto the scene. So we're just going to do shadeless. Make sure use alpha is on straight. So boom, import images as plates. There we go. We're going to go into rendered mode just so we can see the final result at all times. We'll scale this up. Here's our head, for example, but imagine you drew something of a head. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go into a our stroke, go to draw mode. There we go. And I want to make a new layer and we're going to call it a uh, holdout. And this is where we're going to be putting our our holdout material to mask out this image. So we'll call it holdout. And then we're going to make a new material. And we're also going to call that holdouts. Hit new material, holdouts. So some options we should change here from surface instead of stroke, put fill. So normally what we would do is, uh, you know, right to it, we would make sure that this holdout is checkmarked, right? And let's see what this holdout looks like. So the holdout says removes the color, oops, removes the color from underneath the stroke by using it as a mask. So we're essentially using this material as a mask to mask out our strokes. Okay, so but before we do that, I like to be able to see the mask as I'm drawing it. And if you have holdout on, you cannot see it. So we'll put on a bright color that we can see. Well, maybe we'll put like a red color. And now I will go into the holdout layer and I will lower this opacity and I will start tracing over the the image that you imported. So let me do that. All right. So the first thing you're going to notice is that instead of it being red, it's like this weird purple color and has all these weird lines. And what's happening is, is that our plane and our stroke object are occupying the same space. So they're like fighting. They're trying to show themselves all at the same time it's causing some glitching uh, i think it's called z fighting you know like fighting for the z axis here it's the y axis but the solution to this was we'll go to object mode 
and we'll rotate so we can see this. And we're just gonna either move our plane forward by a small amount or our stroke backwards by a small amount. So we'll just use the material here and not the material, the end panel. Uh, and we're just gonna mute, we're gonna move our plane forward, our, our image that we imported on the Y axis and we'll bring it in. You know, it doesn't have to be much at all. I'll just hit the little arrow. It's negative point zero one, uh, point zero one. So we'll go back to our camera and you see that our color that we drew over the mass that we made is now showing up correctly. So we'll go up to a stroke. We'll go to draw. Uh, and you'll see that it is working correctly. So without this holdout material, you'll see that this fill or this mask, this color is technically behind the, the, the plane, but it still shows up in front. And that seems to be like a quirk with, with uh, the grease pencil and these planes, which is, I think the problem, the commenter was running into, uh, and you can, I'll emphasize this by moving it way, way, way forward. So let's go to object again. Oops. You see, it's still in front. The stroke is, the fill is still in front, even though it's clearly the planes in front. So let's undo that. Anyway, we moved it by a small amount. Go back to our, our stroke. And now where the magic happens is in this holdout material that we made a certain color, we will now change it to black. Very important. And then now make it a holdout. Now it looks like nothing happened, right? But what actually happened is the mask is now in place. This is why I didn't select it in the beginning because we wanted to see the mask as we uh, drew it around. Now we go to our strokes and we'll make some strokes here. We'll make sure that our material, uh, we put it on solid stroke, ink pen, and we'll do our strokes. And we see that it's still not working. And the issue is, and I had to do a cut here, is if you go to the holdout material uh, and you go to the opacity, it's at 0.57 and this needs to be at 1.0. And now you see that the strokes are appearing behind the plane, even though what's really happening is that we're using the mask to master our stroke. So let's get back into our strokes here. And now we can draw in the hair that you want. Go frame forward, draw again, and you can animate on an imported plane. You just need a little bit of setup there. It would be nice for this to work without making a mask. But for right now, this seems to be the only solution that I can, can think of to working because the stroke usually appears in the front of um, planes with transparency. And you'll see that I have this very crudely animated uh, hair here. I hope that answers your question, Jay Haru Art. I really appreciate the question. And if you like this content and you want to see more, leave me some questions and comments, and maybe I'll pick one and make another uh, make another installment of this series. Thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe. I appreciate all of you, and I'll see you on the next one.